Wild High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and I thought I did a video on this coral already, but I looked through the list, and I just can't find one. Anyways, there's a super easy, colorful coral that is going to make reefing really easy for the new hobbyist, and that's the Sinulera or Spaghetti Leather. Now, just because this coral is easy doesn't mean you advanced guys should ignore it. It is just a really cool coral. So come check out the Sinulera. I first purchased this coral four years ago. And as you can see, it's kind of this pinkish color. I changed my lighting to the 20K metal halide bulbs with true actinics. This coral turned a lovely shade of neon green. And today, under my LED T5 combo lighting, this coral is a lovely purplish brown color, and I think it looks fantastic. But the color change of this coral based on lighting is really one of those things you have to think about. If you go to the store and buy the green one, it may change colors on you. What really sets this coral apart is just how fast it grows. This coral here is the same as these four coral here, and it's also the big piece I have in the 24 gallon meadow. I've got pieces down in my frag tank, I've given pieces away, and all of this coral is from that one original sample that we saw. Like all corals, good water quality and good lighting will make this coral thrive. The good thing about soft corals is, if you're not interested in really working on calcium and alkalinity. These guys really aren't too sensitive to changes in your calcium and alkalinity. So if you're a beginning hobbyist and you're not really interested in balancing all those levels, the Sinulera is a really good choice. It's the hardiness of the Sinulera that in my opinion really sets this coral apart. I've had this coral for four years and in that time I've had my heaters fail in the on position where my tank went to 80 to 8 degrees for several days and this coral was fine. I had a mass die off that I really didn't know what caused it and this coral was fine. When my overdose bio pellets, this coral was fine. When I had calcium and alkalinity issues, this coral was fine. This coral is bulletproof. Because this coral grows so fast, you're probably going to want to frag it someday. The trick is to cut it off at any of the branches and then rubber band it to a frag plug or a rock. Now, where you got to be careful is if you rubber band it too tight, the coral will cut itself in half. Too loose, it'll slough off the rubber band and it won't attach to the rock. But if you get it just right, it'll quickly attach to the rock or frag plug and you will have a nice new Sinulera colony. When fragging your Sinulera, remember that when you cut those branches, they can release toxins in your water column. For this reason, I will actually take the coral out of the water before fragging it. Now toxins are something you have to deal with all soft corals. Part of their natural defense is to release toxins into the water as their form of coral warfare. For the most part, they don't seem to do too much damage in the tank. I've really never noticed any problems with this particular coral. Now, I also run carbon to help combat this. If you're looking for a coral that's gonna give you fast growth rates, early success, movement in the tank, I highly recommend the Singulera leather. So thank you for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.